guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am going to be doing my first tutorial on hair. Now, um, this is what I did. I'm not a professional with hair or anything like that. Um, I'm new to the short hair thing, so oh, that is the doorbell. Uh, right, so I'm new to the short hair thing, so if you guys have any tips or suggestions based on what I've done, let me know and I will definitely um, try to do things differently just to see how I can get this short hair under control. Uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you guys like the look. If you want to see this makeup look tutorial, let me know. Leave a comment and I will get to it. Other than that, um, enjoy the video. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, now by no means am I an expert on hair or anything like that, but this is just how I've been curling my hair since I've been sh since it's been short. And I figured I'd share it with you just in case any of you have any questions about doing your hair or you need a tip or whatnot. I don't know. You can just see how I do it and if it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to start by using... Um, this curling wand, and this is, it says Hot Shot Tools, but to be honest with you, I don't really know if that's the brand name, I'm assuming it is, but, uh, it goes up to 450 degrees, which is what I was looking for. I, I always look for the tool that's going to get the hottest for me. Uh, I'm sure there are tools that get hotter than this, but this is pretty much all I need for my hair. Um, this curling wand tapers off, if you can see, I'm not going to touch it because it's hot right now, but it tapers off um, at the top there, and the reason why I like this is because when I curl my hair, and I'm, you know, curling it like this, because my hair is short, um, it keeps the curl better with this tapered end. Um, I know a lot of people use the, the barrel that's kind of just straight. Uh, this tends to hold the curl a little better because the bottom of the curl is slightly tighter than it normally would be just because of how it's tapered. So I'm going to start by sectioning <laughs> I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair. I always start from the bottom and go up. So I'm just going to take this clip out and my hair is um it's what, three days old now, maybe? I think. It's not freshly washed, and my hair just holds a better curl. Why can't I speak today? It holds a better curl when it uh, hasn't just been washed. Um, that being said, I also have um, curly hair naturally, so that kind of helps. So I'm just going to go from behind my ear here and just pull this top part back and I just tie this up with my hair tie to keep it out of the way. So if you can see there, it's just out of the way up there and now I'm going to, I also section this part so I take half the right side and the left side when I do that, which is a little bit easier now because my hair is longer again, and I'm going to clip that part there so it stays out of the way, and I'm going to start curling this side. Um, if you notice, I don't have any product with me right now, and that's because, like I said, this is like three day old hair, so there's a bit of hairspray in it from when I tied it up, uh, but I typically don't use a lot of product in my hair. Like I said, my hair um, holds the curl pretty well, so I don't really need all that much product, but I will use some at the end. I'll use some hairspray just to hold my curls. Now, I'm not too fussy with um, the sections, like making it perfect or anything like that, because it's all going to blend in together anyways. So I'm taking my curling wand and holding it... <laughs> When I start, I never know how to adjust my hands and stuff, but anyway, I'm kind of curling like curling iron back and holding my hair down at the same time. There might be an easier way to do this, to be honest with you, but um, I'm a makeup girl. I'm not a hair girl, so I'm just showing you what I do. 
Like I said, if it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but it works for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take another little, little part here. And I'm trying to get my my cousin. I look all retarded. Like, look at this. This wire is in front of my face, and I'm all tilted. But it gets the job done. <laughs> um, what was I saying now? Right. So I'm trying to get my cousin, who just finished hair school. She's also an esthetician. I'm trying to get her in here with me to do a video for you guys. No pressure, Kim. Um, I'm trying to get her in here to do a video for you guys uh, regarding hair, hair care mostly, um, styling, I mean, eventually we'll get there, but I think hair care is more important because, oh, this, this is the result of somebody who's not used to short hair. So now i got to find that section again. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get her... Boo, what the hell did I just do? I think I curled that part. Whatever. Uh, I'm trying to get her in here to do hair care. Or to talk to you guys a little bit about, about hair care. Because me personally, I've always had... Well, not always. For the last, I don't know, 8 to 10 years, <laughs> I've had pretty healthy hair. Um, and that's just because I've taken care of it, um, even when it was long, even when my hair was super, super long, it was very healthy. It wasn't like dead ends all over the place and all kinds of grossness. <laughs> so, um, I think healthy hair is very important, uh, in terms of, first of all, just having healthy hair, but even in terms of just having your styles look, they just look nicer with healthier hair. So I'm trying to get her in here. Um, she's camera shy, so uh, I'm hoping to get her in here soon. Uh, and also because she's an esthetician, I wanted her to possibly talk to you guys about skincare because for me that is a must. Skincare is a must um, so that your so that your makeup looks flawless. Um, it's always great to start with a good base. So, um, I'm trying to get her in here to talk to you guys about that too. I know um, enough about skincare to kind of share with you guys and I will do um, my skincare routine soon, but she's the professional, not me. So, hopefully, It'll work out and she'll be in here and you guys will get some tips from her. It is so difficult to, I don't even think I'm doing this right right now. It's so difficult to curl the back here because it's so short. I'm so totally not used to short hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do, um, well, I'm gonna put some music on and I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I will show you what I do at the end. So for now, ow! Like I said, I'm just um, curling the back here and then I'm just going to keep sectioning and curling. So on the right side, um, I'm, I usually t um, part my hair in half. So right side, left side, right side gets curled back, left side gets curled back that way, <laughs> to the left. So uh, I will continue to do this and then I will tell you guys at the end what I'm doing to just kind of get everything in place because I'm not leaving my curls like this. So stay tuned.
Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like once I've curled it and haven't done anything to it. So this is not happening. Um, so what I normally do, look, gray. Ah, gone. That's a result of my children. My husband. Um, I found another gray. Hold on, hold on guys. I'm gonna mess it up though. Okay, I'll leave it. Um, so this is what it looks like right after being curled without doing anything to it. So now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm literally just gonna run my fingers and just mess it up. Like I'm literally just messing up my hair. And I left it like that and I didn't do each curl separately because I don't want it to be, I don't want there to be like individual curls kind of. But it's already turning into what I want it to look like, which is that like Hollywoodish kind of curls all over the place. And I'm going to flip one side or the other. I don't know which one yet. And I just kind of mess up that part. So I'm here just messing it up. Messy, messy, messy. Just pulling out all the curls. And I'm probably going to end up leaving it something like this. Just a big mop of curls is what I'm looking for. But I don't want it to I don't want it to be neat, but I don't want it to be like too messy if you follow me. So I'm probably going to leave it something like this. So once I figure out exactly where I want my part and how I want that to fall, which is Probably close to this. But this curl is what bothered me. Then I'm going to just go in with my hairspray and spray my entire hair and then just kind of touch it after because you know when you spray sometimes you can see that mist of, of hairspray on your hair. I don't want that. So I'll be I'll be touching it again after. So I gotta get my little boy out of here because I don't want hairspray all up in his mouth. So, uh, I'll be right back. So, here we go. I'm just going to spray everywhere. And now I'm just going to go in and do what I did before. So, just playing with the hair, moving it in different directions. Maybe I'm going to do it this time. Maybe not. Maybe this side. Now, if you're looking for more volume up front here, you can totally um, tease this area, but I mean, it's high enough for me, so I think I'm okay. I like to get right in there with the hairspray in this front part just because it kind of moves around a little bit and teasing might help that too where it would probably ah I just pulled on my lash so teasing will probably um, prevent it from uh, moving around too because it just keeps things in place so I think I'm going to leave it like this. So there you have it. That is how I curl my new short hair. Um, if you guys have another way that you think might work for this length of hair, let me know because I'm open to trying different things right now. So there you have it. There is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. So I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and that's it. Bye.